um briefly i'll be speaking on they continued they continued you know thank god for the ministers we have now who are speaking the truth thank god for many ministries that that started in the spirit and you know that are that are that are operating in spirit and in truth but the question is would they continue Many started in truth, but as they begin to gain more visibility and fame, they could not control it, so their message changed. The testimony that the early church had in the book of Acts of the Apostles was that they continued steadfastly in the Apostles' doctrine. Let's check the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 42. He says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and the fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Now, this was, you know, after thousands of souls have been won. You know, the, the, the gathering before was a very small gathering. So, the, the Lord now told them, he said, wait for me at the upper room that you may be endued with power. Now, the moment, you know, formally, let's assume that the, the congregation is just about maybe 200 congregation, just 200. Now, after they now receive power, the first preaching, 3,000 souls, that means they now have, the church grew from 200 to 3,000 something in a day. Now, and the moment they experience this population expl you know, explosion, you will think they will begin to change their doctrine. Oh, now we are many. We need to stop saying some things now. You know, now we have ministers, we have commissioners in our assembly, we have kings. So, all this, all this preaching that will be pointing to what somebody is doing wrong, I think we need to stop now because, you know, our population is increasing. In the book of Acts 2 verse 42, the Bible says, they continue steadfastly, meaning they did not allow the population explosion, uh, explosion to change them. Many ministries were speaking the truth until their population increased. The moment God increased them, it was God that increased them. But it was that same increase that made them stop following God. Before God increased them, they were following God. After God increased them, they stopped following God. Can you see that? There is a model for the church. And the model for the church is in the book of Acts. You see, increase is a blessing. So we should not make it look like a curse. When God's blessing comes to us and we mismanage it, it becomes a curse. Suddenly the church in the, in the book of Acts they recorded 3,000 souls. You know what it means? It means that on a Sunday service, when they said, okay, is there anybody worshipping with us for the first time? 3,000 people rose. And they raised their hands and they came forward. Imagine the capacity of the crowd that day. And yet, the Bible says, they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. The numbers of increase, the numbers of people you are having should not make you change your message. So, the, the, the testimony every church, every gathering must have is that they continued, they continued. The blessings of God, the increase you see around you should not make you stop following. You must learn to continue. Even when, when we are 10, we will continue. When we become 100 in numbers, we will still continue. When we are millions that are gathering, we will continue. Many churches are, are preaching diluted message now. Why? Because they, they, that, that ability to continue, they don't have. So the moment increase comes, they change. They change. The man that is preaching about salvation now, okay, now that we have ministers around, if I begin to preach about salvation, uh, they may get angry. So let me just be talking about good things. So instead of following what God is saying, they will begin to follow their heart. So uh, knowing God will become two keys to change the heart of men. God will say, uh, preach on the soul that seen it shall die. They will say, uh, they will look at the congregation. Ah, 
this cabbage, see, the king came today. That's a minister sitting there. Um, Lord, you you understand. They will change, they will begin to change what they'll begin to change the instructions of God to suit and to 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 you know to suit the taste of the people. So God will say, preach on the soul that sins shall die. They will go to the altar and look at the congregation. They will see ministers, see kings, see presidents, and say, uh, our topic today is bread of heaven. Bread of heaven. You need to eat bread of heaven. You need to eat. You need to eat. They will shout. People will gyrate. People will shout, carry their chair up, and go home. Such is a testimony of an assembly that have failed to continue. The essence of God increasing your number as a congregation is so that you can continue. Don't make God look like your enemy. When God blesses you, He's not bringing that blessing so that you can stop following Him. He's bringing that blessing to you so that it will be easy for you to follow. If you are righteous and you are poor, the moment God blesses you with wealth, he has not given you wealth so that you can become unrighteous. He has given you wealth so that your righteous, it can be more easy for you to continue being righteous. So anytime God bless you, you must understand. Anytime God pours his blessing on you, you must understand that he's doing that in order to make it easy for you to continue, to continue. There's a need to continue. Starting well is not enough. How you end really matter. If you end well, you get the crown. If you start well, you get the clap. If you end well, you have a crown. If you start well, you get the clap. The reason people are clapping, they are clapping for you, is because you are starting well. But you must understand that <laughs> the main thing to get is not the clap. You need to end well. When you end well, you get the crown. Starting well, the only thing starting well brings is clap. So people clap for you. The only thing starting well brings is shares. They share you up. Hey, 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 hey. The only thing starting well brings is shout. They shout. Hey, hey, hey. But when you end well, you get the crown. Crown is more weightier than clap. May the Lord give us understanding.